In the development of my creative process, I've realised that I come to storyboarding in quite an unconventional way. I think the first major difference in my own process is that the storyboard gets changed countless times. I'm constantly going backwards and forwards between the storyboard, then back through the digital drawings, as you can see here, back down into the sketchbook, and then back to digital drawings, and then back into the storyboard again. So this is a spiral, iterative process. What's even more unconventional is that I will often get into the animation stage before the rest of the storyboard is completed. And for instance here, these are some opening shots that I wanted to test in terms of the use of the camera. Once I've tested things out, I can then go back into more drawing, in this case it's um, digital drawing, um, to um, adjust certain aspects of a scene where I think it's necessary. Since it's just me who's producing this animation and I'm not relying on a team to do any of the work for me, I have the freedom to be able to go through these different parts of the process. But I think my process has also got something to do with the fact that I came to animation as a painter and I therefore approach this work very much as if I'm producing moving paintings. Which of course means that I'm thinking visually before I'm thinking literally. I think in terms of pictures first before I think in terms of narrative structure. Therefore, I haven't produced a script before I've produced the pictures. These pictures aren't illustrations of a script. They come before any of that. So for instance, with the piece that you can see that I'm drawing on screen at the moment, this is a, an image that after I drew it, I knew that it would be somewhere at the end of my narrative. But I wouldn't have known that unless I'd drawn it first. I couldn't have written the script and then illustrated it. The drawings came first and then the decision that this would be part of the closing scenes came after the drawings. But most importantly, I think I have to talk now about the motivation for making this animation. My deepest motivation comes from trying to find out what it is that I'm trying to make a story about. And so the process of making it is as important as the final product. For me, making a piece of art is about going on a journey and that journey is about trying to find out what it is that I feel and think about something. So with regards to this piece of work that I'm making, it's about, it's as much about the journey of finding out what I feel and think about the process of grief as it is about the final animation that I will be presenting. <laughs>